Hello, Dana Cove from BitLocks here. Tonight we're going to do a demonstration of sending a transaction with expert mode. So first we're going to enter the pin into our BitLocks to access the device. There we go. Choose mobile, Bluetooth. Now let's fire up our app. Enter our app pin and then scan for our BitLocks. Choose our device, then list wallets. It'll fetch the wallet list from the BitLocks. Tap on our desired wallet. So now we need to enter the wallet pin. Each wallet has its own pin, can be up to 20 characters, alphanumeric, upper and lower case. So, now it's calculating out our, our, our seed, and once it's done, it will then send over the XPUB to our app, which will then go through and add up all of the balances that we have available. Right now, the BitLocks is showing the default uh, default address for this wallet. So, checking balances, we have 0 .0005 BTC, and in just a second, it should roll over and show us the new address. Since it's received something, it's going to roll to a new at new address for the for the uh, wallet. Now, let's go to extras. Toggle expert mode. Back to wallet detail. Now we see additional things here. Our BIP32 XPUB, which we can then copy paste if we want to use it somewhere else. All of the receiving addresses that we used and all of the change addresses which we've used. If we want to check our transaction history, push transactions, and then it will show what we've got here. One received, there's our uh, transaction ID and the time. If you'd like, you could also check the query that it uses to find that. Now, let's send some coins. So, where are we going to send them to? Just a moment now. I've already got a uh, QR code here ready. So, click on QR code. Scan. It's got to focus. There we go. Now, how much are we going to send? Let's send 0.0. 0002. All right, done. Now, next thing is, for this one, we've got a several steps in between. Generate transaction. This is going to build a raw transaction from the Bitcoin libraries. Now, see below that is the prep transaction. This raw transaction you can cut and paste and then go and check anywhere you like. The prep transaction is the same as the raw transaction, except it has the originating transactions added to it, plus some uh, code for the BitLocks to parse it out. Now, when you go sign with my BitLocks, we will then transmit that code directly to the BitLocks. Preparing a transaction. It's now parsing through and making sure everything's fine. It asks you, do you want to send this to this address? Oh, now it calculates out the fees. Fees are calculated from the originating transactions, not just the outputs. So you get no surprises there. Except, your change addresses are masked in that it sends ahead of time the index of the change chain that it's going to be sending the change to. This can't be spoofed in that it would only send back to your own wallet anyways, even if, for some reason, somebody intercepted it and changed the number, it would still go back to your wallet. So, signing the first, oh, there's one output, in, output being used for this. Signing it, going through. Sometimes it has to go through once or twice because it has to check for if it's a high S or low S transaction. So, here's your signed transaction. This is not gone anywhere yet. It's just sitting here. You can take this, select it, copy it, and check it with Bitcoin D or with uh, any other online service that you like. It's not sent yet. Only when you hit send to network pay will this be submitted. So you can check your transaction. This is standard Bitcoin format. 
Check a transaction if you would like to to make sure that it's exactly what you want to pay. I hit send to network and it will submit it and in just a second we should get a transaction ID returned. Hold on. Network's kind of busy tonight. My, my. Taking its time. <laughs> there we go. So this is our transaction ID for the transaction we have just submitted. And there we go. That's all there is to it. So if you really want to check out the exact things that you're sending, here's your raw transaction, what you're sending to the device, and exactly the signed data that comes back. It's that easy. Thank you. Bye-bye.